Hey everyone, it is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. I am once again creating your mod ideas in Minecraft. I want to thank you guys again for your support on this series. You absolutely blew up the previous video. And thanks to your guys' suggestions, we have created some really amazing mods so far. And today is no exception. Now, about a week ago, I sent out a tweet asking if you could have a very simple mod created for Minecraft, what would it be? And you guys did not chill. You sent 800 replies and I had to go through all of them. But out of them all, I was able to find some ideas that really caught my attention. Now, if you guys want to suggest your ideas for the next video, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. There are links in the description below. But I think it is time. Let's get into this right now. So the first mod idea I really liked comes from a user called EcoFoGamer, and they said to add in a hammer, which if you were to right click on a block, would turn it into a slope. Now I thought that this would be a really cool idea to create, mainly because this would open up so many possibilities when it comes to creating building designs. Could you imagine actually having a sloped roof? Well, you don't have to because I'm gonna be creating the mod and you're gonna be able to play it. So let's start coding. So the first stage of this mod was to simply add in a new block and then assign a custom model to it. Now I'll be honest, I was a little bit skeptical on whether or not I could actually create this mod. Adding in custom models like a slope is a completely different ballpark than what I'm used to. But soon enough I was ready for the first test and uh, this is how it went. Alright, here we go. I highly doubt this will work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to give you guys a million dollars. Uh, it's kind of awkward. Uh, I take that back. Uh, but with a few changes later, I finally had the game running. Well, we're getting somewhere. Oh, what the heck? What am I doing? I'm like... It's kind of cool, I'm like rendering all the textures on the bottom of the block. So after a couple of hours of relearning how to create custom models, I now present to you the basic slope model. Yo, this mod is coming together. Have a look at this, we finally have our basic slope. Uh, there's still a lot to do, but I mean, this has given me the okay that I'm gonna be able to actually create this mod. Next, I needed to add rotation support to the slope. Right now, it could only be faced in one direction. We needed to be able to rotate it in any direction that we want because we don't know what side we're actually going to create the slope from when we use the hammer. I also needed to make it so the slope could be flipped upside down or even sideways, but I'll get to that later on. All right, rotations are now working. So if I go ahead and just change around the facing here, if I set it to south, as you can see, it has flipped around 180. If I go ahead and just do it to the west, and it will rotate accordingly. So about a half an hour later, I added support to flip the slope upside down, but I wanted to move on to the next stage of this mod, and that was adding in the hammer, because this is probably the most important part of this mod. This is how you are going to create the slopes. So the plan is to make it, when you right click the top edge, it's going to turn it into the regular slope. When you right click the side edge, it's going to be a sideways slope. And then finally, when you hit the bottom edge, it's going to be an upside down slope. Then depending on which block you click, it's going to copy its texture over to the slope. Having that said, we were ready to test the hammer out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it works on anything. This is too powerful. So everything was going good. The next stage was to make it so the texture would copy over. But little did I know, I'd run into an issue that would delay this mod quite a bit. Ah. Uh, um. Ran into a bug. And, uh. Yeah, it resulted in the world just <laughs> gone crazy because I was testing testing out the slopes like crazy. <laughs> we'll, we'll move on from that. Uh, what happens if I do it to this? 
So as you saw there, the slope will now inherit the texture of the block. But we were reaching the final stages of this mod. There were just a ton of little additions that needed to be added in order to polish this mod off. So let's check them out. So the texture of the hammer has been improved by increasing the size of the head. Now when you turn blocks into slope, it will produce a particle effect on the part of the block that you actually chip away. Only a specific set of blocks can now be turned into a slope. It wouldn't make sense that you can turn a furnace into a slope. However, I've added an option in the config file so you can disable this and you can turn any block into a slope. When you highlight a slope, the outline will now match the slope's shape rather than a full block. Walking on slopes will now produce the correct sound based on the material. You now require the correct tool to break the slope, so if it's wood, you need an axe. If it's stone, you need a pickaxe. You can now craft the hammer with four iron and one leather arranged like this. And finally, slopes will drop their original block. However, that is going to wrap up this mod. Thank you again to Ecofo Gamer for suggesting this idea. You can now create some really interesting building designs using these new slopes. But now, let's move on to the next idea. Now, I don't know what it is, but you guys seem to love suggesting enchantment ideas and I couldn't resist, so I've picked two today that I thought would fit perfectly into Minecraft. And this first idea comes from a user called Alibium and they suggested to add an enchantment that would replant the crop as you break it. I've always felt that farming in Minecraft can be very tedious at times, especially once you start getting a larger field, it can be quite a long process just to harvest and replant all the seeds but what if you could do it at the same time so let's start programming this mod now i'm not going to be creating a brand new mod i'm actually going to be expanding on enchantable which if you don't know was a mod i created in the last episode of i create your mod ideas so the first stage of this mod was to simply make it when i broke a crop with my hand it would simply replace it with the corresponding seed and that worked all right, here we go. Hopefully this works. Hey, there it is. However, I accidentally made a duplication machine. All right, that seems a little bit cheaty. So I headed back into the code and to fix this issue was quite simple. All I needed to do was search the player's inventory for the corresponding seed. If they had it, simply plant, plant that back into the farmland. I also made it now require the enchantment to actually be on a hoe for this to take effect. It would no longer just work with your bare hands. Alright, so if I go ahead and I break this with my hand, it should just drop it as it normally would. But if I go ahead and I break the crop with the hoe and the enchantment on, it should replant it. Hey! Ah! Just discovered a weird bug. <laughs> uh, we need to fix that. I'll tell you right now, it didn't go too well. And while solving this issue, I invented more issues. I'm not gonna lie, I was on the verge of going insane. This took so long to figure out how to fix all these problems that I've encountered along the way. So I've just set up a little bit of a crop here so we can test it on multiple plants. So at the start here we have beetroot. So hopefully when I break this block here, it's going to replace, replace the beetroot into the farmland below. Let's go ahead and test it out here. Rats. All right, let's test this again. It should work now. Hey, there we go. So as you can see, it has replanted 
the beetroot seed. Now the seed that it replants simply comes from the drops that happen when you actually break the block. So as you can see, I collect some seeds here and basically one of them is removed from the drop and replanted back into the soil. Now, if the block doesn't drop a seed, it simply just searches your inventory and sees, hey, you got a beetroot seed and uses that. Now, most likely it won't happen because the farm or the crop here will actually drop a seed, but if it doesn't, it will just use the one from your inventory. Now, something I really like about this is you pretty much don't have to think about where you're aiming your mouse. You can pretty much just spam this all you want and it's going to replant all the seeds automatically. So let's go ahead and let's do it right now. How much easier is that to actually harvest all those? That's amazing. I think this has to be one of the best enchantments I've added into this mod so far. But that is, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the second enchantment, and this was suggested by a user called Max. They said to add an enchantment which, if you were to till the ground, it would create a 3x3 farmland area rather than just the single block. And I love this not only because it is expanding on the farming aspect of the game, but it goes hand in hand with the previous enchantment we just added in. So let's get started. Now lucky for me, this was an easy enchantment to add in. Unlike the previous one, I didn't actually run into any issues while adding this. But the first stage of this mod was to add in the basic functionality, so that is adding in a new enchantment and then adding its uh, behavior. So when you right click the ground with a hoe, instead of just applying the crop plan to the single block, it's going to do a 3x3 area. Alright, first test here we go, so let's go ahead, uh, let's put the enchantment onto the hoe here, I think, oh, other way around. Alright, there we go, we got the cultivator enchantment, so now when we go ahead and we right click the ground here, it should do like a 3x3 three three area. Oh! So this enchantment was done? No, it's not done. I'm taking this enchantment one step Further, and the first stage of this was to apply it also to the shovel because as you know when you right click the ground with a shovel it creates a grass path but I wanted to make it when the enchantment is applied to the shovel it creates a 3x3 three three grass path all right let's give this a shot uh, all right second shot hey there we go so now you can create paths real easily with the shovel So the second stage of improvements I wanted to make is what I mentioned earlier. This enchantment goes hand in hand with the replanting one. And if you can kind of figure it out, when you break a crop, it's going to break a 3x3 area and also replant in a 3x3 area. So that is what I added in here. And it was actually quite simple to add in. Um, it needed to be integrated into the other enchantment but once I did that, it was ready for its first test. So having both replanting and cultivator applied to the hoe, it will break a 3x3 area and also replant the seeds. I also fixed an issue where none of the custom enchantments were actually showing in the enchantment table, but now that I have fixed it, they do show. So thank you again to Alibium and Max for suggesting these enchantment ideas. I would love to keep expanding this mod so if you guys have more enchantment ideas definitely suggest them for the next time i ask however that is going to wrap up today's episode so i hope you enjoyed today's episode these mods are available for download all the links are in the description below Make sure you also follow me on Twitter if you want to suggest an idea for the next episode. And if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video today, I'd appreciate if you could drop a like down below and subscribe so you don't miss out. But I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.